In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to log into Zoom using your Office 365 account so that you can access the Zoom meetings that are going on with your teachers. So the first thing that you should do is go to office365.pwcs.edu. It's going to ask you to log in. Your screen might look like this and be blank, or it might actually have the email filled in, depending on if you've signed in that way before. So um, I'm going to log in as my daughter. And remember that when you log in, you need to include your full username. So that includes your last name or part of it, um, first and middle initials, and then the year that you graduate. So that is your user ID. You also need to include the at pwcs-edu.org. Oftentimes people forget to include this part and you will not get signed in without it. You'll use the same password as your student view or Canvas. So the passwords are the same throughout. You always have the same Office 365 username and password. If you click sign in, and it's going to bring me to the Office 365 homepage. And so there's a variety of apps that I could use, but for this one in particular, we're looking for Zoom. Because I've clicked it before, it already pops up here, but if it hasn't, you can click on All Apps, scroll down to the bottom. and find Zoom. It'll open up in a new tab, the PWCS Zoom website. So I know it's tempting to just click join something right here, but you actually need to click the sign in button. So in order to access any teacher's Zoom meetings, you need to be what's called authenticated. And so you need to configure your account. And the way that you do that is by signing in through Zoom. So you click here and it signs me in using my Office 365 info, but it, it might ask you to enter it again and that's perfectly okay. So once you're in, you then go to the join a meeting button up here. So this is your profile um, and you can see other things that you may have used, but for you, all you really need to do is click here for join a meeting. When you click on it, it asks for a meeting ID. And so there's a couple different ways you can get that. One, your teacher may have already emailed you the, the uh, meeting ID and passcode for their Zoom meetings. So that's one way that you can do it. Another way is by going into their Canvas page. So this is just a sample Canvas page, but you can see um, it, it'll look kind of similar to this, except with more information, depending on the teacher. And up at the top, you might see that there are announcements there, or you might need to go to this announcements menu item. So it'll be one of like two or three things over here. You won't have this many. So if you click on announcements, you'll be able to see the Zoom link just for your period. And when you click on it, you can actually get the actual link, but they also give you the meeting code and the passcode. And so you can go over here and type in the meeting ID, and then it'll ask you for the passcode. So you'll just be able to take it from here and put that in as well. And it will open up with a Zoom app for you. Another thing that you could do is look for the email that your teacher sent you. So for right now, it's not working directly through Zoom you will, or through Canvas. You will have to go to the Zoom website to make it work, but this is a way that has proven successful. So again, you log on to office365.pwcs.edu and you will find the Zoom app. You will sign in using your Office 365 information and then you will go to the join a meeting area. This is the best way to sign into your Zooms for right now. We do not know yet if this is going to change or not. It might need to be the way that we sign in, but it's a good idea just to keep this up here because you can continue coming back to this tab and just joining a new meeting and joining your meetings that way. So it's a lot easier than, um, than trying to get it to configure in other ways when it doesn't necessarily work. So go through Office 60, 365, please.